sashen Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 13 da 16 da kuma wasu tashoshi FM a wasu kasashen Afirka Masu waro Aisha Sharif Babaki muku salama cikin shirin mu na karfe 3 daidai a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato biyu daidai kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana cikin shirin zaku ta cewar kotun kwallon Amurka za ta saurari bahasi kan ko tsohon shugaban kasar Donald Trump na da kariya daga tuhumar da ake masa akan abubuwan da ya aikata a lokacin da yake kan karagan mulki kungiyar kariya kabila almata Human Rights Watch ta ce sama da furaran kula 220 ne sojoji suka kashi a rana guda a wannan shekarar a Burkina Faso da karin hadin guya a yankin tafkin Chadi sun je sun samu nasarar kashe wasu mutane uku da ake zargi da kasancewa magoya bayan kungiyar Boko Haram ne tare da kwace makamai da dama da karin mu sun samu nasaran kwace makamai kamar PKM machine gun guda da da AK47 guda da sai kuma madinin Alburusai wato magazin guda biyar da kuma su kansu Alburusai guda 20 a Najeriya kuwa masu ababan hawa ne ke ci gaba da bayyana damuwa game da yadda aka fara samun doga layuka a gidajen man Peter Ausu Brian kasar Kafumanti talajan ina jira mu laya mu yetu kuna kafumaa za mu kuma nasa bia hini akan tadi bako hini na tamana nda biyari Kuma tinta haka mwa bako hini 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 keza mu ba Na chikinye na yimwa rada di kaka titi wa mu chani Licha daini rada di chako Tozamu jia jamhuri ya Nijar inda gomnati ng amur katachi ayew jami anta za asu gana da gomnati nsoji ng jamhuri ya kasar Aka ngeta soji ujinta za asu jangi diga kasar ba atara da wata tangar da ba Tua maka penasa Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad ya karantu mwana la ba randunia Kutu ngolo ng amurika za ta saura riba hasi kan kuz uun shuga banga sara Donald Trump Na da kariya da gotu humada aiki masaka abu bwande aika ta aloka chindi iki kan karaga mulki Saka mwakande zi tabada takuzi paskanchi sharia akan zarikinda aiki masa na yungkuri njuye kaya ndesha azabe nshuga banka saa na shikara tadubu biuda ashirang. Mr. Trump ya chie bazi ya paskanta tuhuma kan lebo kande ya aloka chinde iki kan karagar mulki ba. Anade za mani ya nki hukunchi kan batu nga watin yuni. Hukunchi ndaza ya nki kan wana mbatu bazi shabi sharia da aiki tuhuma rasada aika talepi ba ahalinyo za a New York. Inda aiki tuhuma rasada lepi mbiyo mkutiga taurari yarfi na pinambaza watu Stormy Daniels. Ana zada sawar ba jalisa rukun kwa liya da zaata katwe muliki a Haiti tarada shiri ya zaabi. Andi shiri guna ando biki ranzar wani a padar gwamna tink asar. Amma ri kichinda aki da kwenkiwe masu aika talepu ka ya tila staa kuma wada shi upi shinfira minister nk asar mi baran gadu Oriel Henry. Awata ndika bata nidi Mr. Henry ya chiezi sa wakada ka muliki ba anda kwenkiwe nda kito kida makama yisa kahana shukuma wa Haiti. Shukabu Faransa Emmanuel Macron ya yaga gadinchi wa tariye ture na paskantar hata liso sayi chikin shikaru goo masuzwa adidi luka chinda ikipama da tashita shahankula dunia. Mr. Macron ya che akwebu kacha rigi mwa zida abindi ikira rashi mwai wa kansaluda kaswanchi indi ikibari shawara abunga asahanyo yindu garuda kai. Ya che samada makame ature na tipiara hawenia kumaz are ntatala azikinta ba medole wa bani. Le principal danger pour la sécurité européenne est évidemment aujourd'hui. Wengi rekari haki mila adama ta Human Rights Watch ta chi sama da para rangula da li biu da ashirini soju jisika kashi arana guda a wana shikara a Burkina Faso. Wengi rekari ta chi kisa nki ashi nya parini a kawye ka biu a arana la ashirini da biyarga wata mfabureiru. Arawetu chi wa sama da ya raham sini ki chiki watan da sika mutu. Villagers who survived the attack told Human Rights Watch that a military conflict... Wakili BBC Echi, NKO and the Sikas, Irada Gaharin Sushi Dawa, Human Rights Watch, Chiwa, Wani Jiru Nkwana Sujuji, Samada Galini, Sika Parma Kawaya, Nondin, Mintina Kadam Bayan, Da Mbindiga, Sika Bari Yanking, Inda Sika Chi Sujuji, Nsumbi, Gida Gida, Sina Harbi Mutani. Kungirata Human Rights Watch, Tabaya Na Kisang Ahmad, Zay Mafi Muni, Da Sujuji, Sika Yi Chikin Shikaru Goma. Lithuania na tayo wa zida ikirani nda jama ansara mbelarusi sika ichi wa sinda ikira hara hara mjira gimara matu kada kakasar. Wani jami nkasar Lithuania ya che sana rwarda shukabar hukumar KGB ta belarusi ya ibata da alaka da gaskia. Prime Minister Latvia di kima kumtaka da Lithuania Evika Silina ta che kasa shena yenki mbaltik na chigabada paskanta labarankaria di kipitu wa di karasha da belarusi.
BBC Agaidaha Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad ya karantu mana alhabaran dunia. Tuma jala yang zukuma asir hutan yang demikian oke dah su. Atikin syurga hukuma kamaraya dewa tekil wasa keja atikin labaran dunia. Piedak para orang hulat dan ribu doa syirin ciki harda ya raka lah hamsin da syida. Surah jumbur kina fasu sekai wiki sengkil la rana daya awan dan syikara raci warku inja kada yakin bil adam atai human rights watch. Ahara haram da sojojin suka kai a rana 25 ga watan Fabrairu. Sojojin sun kashe mutane 179 a kauyen Soro da kuma wasu 44 a kauyen Nondin da ke makwabtaka a cewar wani bincike da kungiyar tayi. Human Rights Watch ta kira ki san kiyashin 1 daga cikin cin sarrafi mafi muni da sojoji suka aikata a kasar a cikin gwamnati shekaru. Kar hotun da bulki su baban gida ta hada mana. Mahukuntan kasar ta Burkina Faso ba su mayar da martani game da rahoton ba. A watan da ya gabata ne mai gabatar da kara Ali Benjamin Kulibali yayi kira ga masu bada sheda da su nuna mutanen da ke da hannu a kashe-kashen ya kuma bayyana adadin farko na waɗanda suka mutu zuwa 170 mazauna kayukan da suka tsira da rayukan su daga harin sun sheda a kungiyar kare hakkin bil adama ta Human Rights Watch cewa wani ayyar motocin sojoji dauke da sojoji sama da dari sun abka wa kauyen London minti 30 bayan da mayaka masu kaifin kishin Islamu suka wuce ta kusa da wurin a cewar su sojojin sun riƙa bi gida gida suna fitar da mutane daga cikin gidajen su yayin da yake nuni da bayanan da suka fito daga waɗanda suka tsira da rayukan nasu rahoton ya kuma kara da cewa sojojin sun kuma saka yi mazauna kauyen ne tare da rarraba su zuwa kashi kashi kafin su bude musu wuta sun kuma iso zuwa cikin kauyen Soro mai nisan kilomita 5 daga can sa'a dai bayan nan inda suka riƙa tattara mazauna kauyen suna bude musu wuta a cewar shedin kana a duka kauyukan biyu sojojin sun kuma harbe waɗanda suka yi yunkurin boya ko kuma tserewa an yi amin na kashe-kashen mutanen wani ramuwar gayya ne daga sojojin waɗanda suke zargin mazauna kauyen da taimakawa mayaka masu kaifin kishin Islama hakan ya biyo bayan wani harin da mayaka suka kai a wani sansanin soji dake kusa a arewacin lardin ya tenga an ambato wani wanda ya tsira da ransa na cewa gabanin harba harban sojojin sun zargi mazauna kauyukan da gaza ba su hadin kai wajen rashin samar musu da bayane game da kai komo da ayyukan masu ta da kayar bayan kisan gillar a kauyukan London da Soro sune kashe-kashen fararen hula masu yawa na baya bayan nan da sojojin Burkina Faso suka aikata yayin gudanar da ayyukan su na yaki da masu ta da kayar baya a cewar Tirana Hassan babbar director kungiyar kare hakkin bil adama ta Human Rights Watch Kasar ta Burkina Faso da ke yankin Sahel na karkashin mulkin sojini wacce ta karbe ragamar mulkin kasar a wani juyin mulki a shekarar 2022 tare da lasar takobin kawo kashin ayyukan masu ta da kayar baya amma kuma tashin hankalin ya ci gaba da ta'azzara inda fiye da daya bisa ukun kasar ta Burkina Faso ke karkashin ikon kungiyoyin mayaka masu kirarin jihadi kungiyoyin kasa da kasa da na kara hakkin bil adama da suka hada da kungiyar tarayya Ture da majalisar dinkin duniya sun zargi kasar Burkina Faso da aikata mummunan taki hakkin bil adama a yayin da take yaki da ayyukan masu ta da kayar bayan da suka hada da kashe-kashen babu gayar babu dalili na gwamnatin fararen hula a gaida bulki su baban gida da rahoton da ta hada mana to yanzu kuma sai Najeriya inda hukumomi a kasar suka ce suna ci gaba da farautar gwamnatin polisnonin da suka tsere daga gidan yaron Sulaija da ke jihar Neja mai makwabtaka da Abuja babban birnin kasar ruwan sama kamar da bakin kwariya ne ya sanar da rubta wurin bangare da katangar gidan yaron abin da yasa polisnoni 119 suka tsere cikin duhun dare hukumar kula da gidajen yari ta birnin tarayya cikin wata sanarwa da ta fitar ta ce ruwa kamar da bakin kwariya na tsawon awa 24 ya lalata sansan gidan yaron mai matsakaicin tsaro sai dai wata mujiya ta shida wa BBC cewa kawo yanzu an kama personally 13 a cikin wadanda suka tseren to dan cin karin bayani yanzu ka kai tsaye na tare da abokin aiki Muktar Adamu Baba wanda ke bibiyar labarin a Muktar wani hali ake ciki a yanzu to Aisha bayanan da muka tattaro sun nuna cewa tuni ministan harkokin cikin gida na Najeriya ya kai ziyara wannan gidan yari 
kuma da makin san gida jin yari na kasar suna karkashin ma'aikatar sani kuma bayanai sun tabbatar da cewa hadunguyar jami'an tsaro sun yi nasara ta sake kama personally guda uku a wayewar garin yau a bayan goma da aka sake kama tunda farko a cikin dare a to don haka yanzu aladdin fursuna 106 kawai ake ake ci gaba da nema tun bayan faru wannan al'amari a cikin tsakar dare wanda ya sakamakon ruwan sama da ya haddasa karewar katanga a ya janyo a hukumi zuwa yanzu dai ba su fitar da sunayen fursunan da suka tsere din ba amma dai wasu rahotanni na nuna fargaba cewa mai yiwa akwai fursunoni haka masu hatsari a cikin wadanda suka tsere haka zalika hukumar kula da gidajen yare a cikin wata sanarwa da ta fitar a bayan faruwar shi wannan al'amari na cewa gidan yare na daya daga cikin kurkukun kasar masu yawa da aka gina a kafin da kuma bayan lokacin mulkin mallaka dan haka dai wansu sun tsufa kuma suna fama da rauni wato suna buƙatar gyara kenan to shin me hakan ke nufi to hakan dai yana ƙara fito da matsalolin da gidajen yare Najeriya suke ciki ne kamar yawan cinko su na mutanen da ake tsare da su a wadanda mafi yawa zaman jiran shari'a ko washin trial suke yi akwai kuma halin ko in kula da rashin ingantawa da kuma karfafa gidajen yaron da suka dade a cikin wani muyacin hali haka kuma idan baki manta ba shi wannan al'amari na silaja ya zo ne kimanin shekara biyu bayan fasa gidan yaron kuje da ke cikin birnin Abuja mini 100 km daga silaja din a wancan lokaci fursunoni kimanin 400 ne suka kubuci wani rahoto ya ce daga shekara ta 2020 zuwa yanzu wato kimanin shekara hudu kenan fursunoni kimanin 2500 ne suka tsere daga gidajen yaron da jiya lamarin kuma yana ƙara cusa far gaba da tsoro akan halin tabarbar da tsaro da ake fama da shi a sassan Najeriya wadda take cikin halin wato rikicin yan ta da kayar baya da kuma masu kirarin jihadi kamar Boko Haram da sauransu to a kai da Muktar Adamu Bawa sha wani mataki na ci gaba da neman tabbatar da zuru a yankin Tafkin Chadi takarin hadin kuyuwa na wannan yankin da suke karkashin rukuni na daya a dake birnin Mora arewa a wato arewa mai nisa a Kamaru sun yi nasara akan wasu mutane guma wato mutane uku da ake zargi da kasance mako ya bayan kungiyar Boko Haram ne takarin sai musu kwantan bauna ne a wuraren da a baya bayan nan suke ta kai hari wannan ya faru ne a lokacin da hukumomi a Kamaru suke murnar mayar da gudanar da harkokin kasuwanci da zarga zarga tsakanin Kamaru da kuma Najeriya garotin da Muhammad Babalala aikun muna daga yawun da da karon rundunar tsaron hadin guyiwa a yankin Tafkin Chadi sun samu yin ramuwar gayya akan yan kungiyar Boko Haram wadanda ake zargi da yawai ta kai hari a wannan yankin hakan ya faru ne a wani kwanton baunar da karon suka yi so biyu a wurare daban-daban na farko shine a Zige a yayin da na biyu kuma ya auku ne a Suwairam dukkan su dai ta arewa mai nisa a Kamaru sakamakon haka yasa da karon suka harbe mayaka uku daya a Zige biyun kuma a Suwairam dake kan iyaka tsakanin Kamaru da Najeriya Leftanan Kanal Abubakar Abdullahi shine mai magana da yawun da karon rundunar hadin guyiwa na yankin Tafkin Chadi yayi karin bayani game da sauran ababan da aka samu kwacewa a hannun mayakan yayin wannan arangama da karin mu sun samu nasaran kwace makamai kamar PKM machine gun guda daya da AK47 guda daya sai kuma madinin Alburusai wato magazin guda biyar da kuma su kansu Alburusan guda 20 dukkan wadannan nasarori mun same su ne ta sakamakon hadin kai da muke samu daga al'umomin da suke zaune a wannan yanki da haka muke jinjina ga al'umomin da suke zaune a wannan yankin ko muke kira gare su da ci gaba da bamu hadin kai su ci gaba da bamu bayanai domin mu samu nasaran dawo da zaman lafiya a wannan yanki na Tafkin Chadi duk da binciken da ake gudanarwa an samu gano ko inda wadannan mayaka na kungiyar Boko Haram suke samu makamai da suke dinga abkawa mutane da su e hakika bayanan da muke samu yana nuna cewa ana yawan samun fasakaurin makamai ta hanyar iyakokin kasashen da suke Tafkin Chadi daga kasashen da suke fama da rikici kamar Sudan da arewacin Mali yawancin makaman da suke shigowa wannan yanki ana fasakaurin su ne daga wadannan kasashe kuma jami'an tsaro suna iya kokarin su na ganin cewa mun dakile 
kusa kwarun wannan makamai da ake yi ta iyakokin kasar mu sai dai kamar yadda rahotanni daga nan cikin gida suke nunawa wannan lamarin na kungiyar boko haram na da nasaba ne da daukan ciki da renon shi daga haife shi kuma sai sabon goyo ya faru kenan duk da ajiye makaman da tari daga cikin su suke yi suna rungumar sana'o'i masu amfani akwai alamar cewa kuma wasu sabbin magoya baya na danna kansu a cikin kungiya Muhammad Babalala sashin Hausa na BBC daga Yaunde a Jamhuriyar Kamaru to yanzu a Jamhuriyar ta Kamaru karfe 3 ne da minti 15 haka lokacin yake a Nigeria da Niger bi da minti 15 ke kuma bi da kwata ke na gogon GMT da Ghana an sha Sharif Baba ke gabata muku da wannan shiri daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC to gaba cikin shirin za mu je jihar Lagos inda aka fara rabon kunshin abinci ga gidaje 500 a karkashin shirin Eco Case amma kafin nan gwamnatin Amurka ta ce a yau jami'anta za su gana da gwamnatin sojojin jamhuriyar Niger akan yadda sojojin ta za su janye daga kasar ba tare da wata tangar da ba gana wardai na zuwa ne bayan zanga zanga ta tsawon makonni da gamayyar kungiyoyin farar hula da ke goyen bayan cikin mulkin sojoji suka yi a kasar Karhota Rally a Zubairu a cikin sanarwar jami'aikatar harkokin wajen Amurka ta fitar ta ce jami'an gwamnatin kasar karkashin jagorancin Jakarar Amurka a Jamhuriyar Niger Kathleen Fix Gibbon za su tattauna yau Alhamis da sojojin Niger a birnin Yamai haka kuma wasu jami'an tsaron Amurka za su kai ziyara birnin Yamai a makon gobe don su shirya yadda dakarun kasar za su fice cikin umutunci da aminci gwamnatin Amurka dai ta ce za ta ci gaba da tallafa al'umar Niger dan wajen yaki da ta'addanci gaba da haka ne ta ce mataimakin sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Court Campbell zai ziyarci Yamai a cikin watanni masu zuwa domin tattaunawa akan hadin gwiwar da ke gudana tsakanin kasashen biyu a wuraren da suke da manufa iri daya Rudinar sojin Niger ta sanar da soke jijeniyar tsaro da taccin ma da Amurka yayin da kasar ke ci gaba da fuskanta matsalar rashin tsaro sanar da hara-haran da mayaka masu ikirarin jihadi suke kai wasu yankunan kasar sai dai masu goyen bayan jiyin mulkin da sojojin kasar suka yi sun ce babu wata gudunwar da sojojin kasar shan waje suka bayar wadanda suka hada da Amurka da Faransa wajen inganta tsaro a cikin kasar a yanzu dai sojojin Niger sun kulla kawance da Russia a wani mataki da ake ganin zai fadada a tasirin Russia a nahiyar Africa makon da ya gabata ne sojojin Russia suka iso Niger din domin horar da dakaran kasar san kuma zo da kayan yaki cike hada na'urar kakkabo makamai daga sama a gaida Raliya Zubairu da rahotanta idan muka saki koma Nigeria masu ababan hawa na ci gaba da bayyana damuwa game da yadda aka fara samun doga layuka a gidajen man Peter a wasu biranen kasar a wasu biranen kamar Kano gidajen mai da dama babu man inda bayanai ke ciwa wannan lamari ya hada su karo farashin man Peter din daga kanin gagarun bayanai da Zahra Dilawan ya aiko mana da jammai da dama da na zagaya a cikin birnin Kano na tarar wasu babu man wadanda kuma suke sayarwa akwai layi sannan farashin sa ya karu wannan direban a daidaita sahun ya ce da kyadda jibin goshi yau ya sha mai ta farko dai suna na Adamu Jafar Adam na yin aikin a daidaita sahune nan ayi wadannan da na fito na fi na fi minti 30 ina jiran layin mai tukun na kafin ma an samu kuma na same ni akan 785 kuma duk da haka ma ba ko ina ne yake samu ba idan kace kana so ka samu ka samu wanda yake kasa da haka za ka yi shafi awa uku kana bin layi kafin lokacin da za ka samu ka kuma wannan dan ma wanda za ka samu ya tafi ta kwazo ba ka dan din ni ma za ka yin a da munti 30 kana fama kafin kafin ka samu kuma har yanzu ya ba musamman ne dalilin da ya jawo hakan ba abin kuma ko da yake karuwa yake abin da ka hayo goban ka fito zaka tara an kara naira 5 naira 10 kullum karawa yake yi ne na shi kuwa wannan magidancin da na tarar akan layin man ya ce yana dubaiwar ajiye motar sa muddin aka ci gaba da tafiya a haka an sade mu sai inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji'un na ciki ne mara dadi kaga titi ba mutane ni ma na dubu uku ma zan zuba a yanzu kuma na san fa da kai ni gida ma na ne litar litar dai naira 800 amma tun da ya zama dole sai an sha dole zan sha ya zan yi amma zaka ci gaba da hawar motar da zan ake cewa na koma gida zan aje ta zan dena zan dena hawa gaba da wallahi aje ta zan yi gaskiya bayanai na cewa gidajen mai mallakar kamfanin mai na NNPCL a wasu biranen Najeriya ana samun man sai dai dan karan layi inda masu ababan hawa kan shafe lokaci mai tsawo kafin su samu man 
Natun tibi alhaji bashar dan malang jigu a harkar hada hadar man Peter a Nigeria kuma shugaban kungiyar da lalan man Peter da iskar gas wato Arewa Oil and Gas Marketers Association inda yace abubuwa da dama ne suka jaza wannan yanayi da ake ciki amma ba tsantsaren rashin man Peter dan ba alal hakika an samu matsaloli a ba wai mai bane babu a Nigeria akwai mai kamar yanda muka sani kuma muka tattauna da masu abun to amma dai matsalar man yana kan babban jirai jirgi so kananan jiragen da zasu sauke man tafar tafar shine duk suka karkata kuma suka tafi wata nahiya to kaga matsala ta farko kenan a na san akwai wanda ya kwana 20 30 ma yana bukin din jirgin da zai dauki kayan ya kai ma tafar din amma har yanzu ba a samu ba na biyu gwamnati ta riga ta kara kudin ruwa a bankuna zaka ga kaso 22 da 375 to idan ka buga misali yanzu ka dau miliyan 50 zaka ga a cikin miliyan 50 din nan miliyan 10 ne banda sauran charge charge na committee men pi da sauran su dai na bankuna amma wa suna zargin cewa kamar ku dalalumar fitin nan kun hango cewa akwai bayane da ke nuna cewa mannan zai kariyo shi sa wasu ke fargabar idan suka saya za su yi shin yin asara shi sa suka hakura suka rufe gida jama'a to gaskiya ba wannan bane kuma ba ne da wannan labarin ai shi mai ai ba a kwantan sa amma ba haka hana mutane kuma su yi tunanin da suke ganin shi ne mafita ba wasu rahotanni na cewa a birane irin su Lagos da Abuja da Kaduna da Sokoto ma an ga doga laikan man kuma masu ababan hawa na kokawa da cewa farashin man ya karu inda ake sayar da duk lita 1 akan naira 750 zuwa 820 har zuwa lokacin hado wannan rahotan dai babu tabbas ko hukumomin Najeriya ko kamfanin mai na NNPCL sun yi martani kan halin da aka shiga na karanci da kuma sadar man a wasu biranen Najeriya amma wasu bayane na cewa din lalan man Peter din za su gana da hukumomin NNPCL nan gaba a yau don gano abin da ke faruwa Zaharuddin Lawan BBC Hausa daga Kano a Najeriya daga kanan barin mu je jihar Lagos a Najeriya inda gwamnatin jihar ya kaddamar da rabon kunshin abinci ga gidaje 1500 a karkashin shirin Echo Case wanda yake cikin shirin shiga tsakani da gwamnatin jihar ta fara gabatarwa ga talakawan jihar gwamnatin jihar ya sha alwashin bayar da talabin domin rage radadin da yawancin yan Lagos ke fama da shi tan bayan da shugaba Bola Tinubu na Najeriya ya janye talabin Ben Peter a wata mayun shekara da ta gabata wanda a sakamakon haka ya janyo farashin kayayyakin abinci a fadin kasar ya tashi wakilin na Lagos Umar Shaw Aliman ya aika mana da wannan rahotan kaddamar da shirin bada talafi abinci dai ya zo a dide lokacin da miliyoyin mazauna jihar Lagos suke hannu baka hannu kwariya sakamakon karanci abinci a hannun su da kuma tsadar rayuwa da ake dora alhakin haka kan gwamnati mai ci ta zo da wasu manufofi da mutane ke cewa ba su samu karbuwa ba wannan ne yasa gwamnatin jihar karkashin gwamna babaji da san wulu ta sha alwashin fito da wasu tsare tsare da za su kawo saukin radadin tsadar rayuwa a jihar ciki har da rabo kunshin abinci ga gidaje 250 a yanzu sai dai kuma gwamnatin sa ta nuna shi wadannan wahalu da ake samu na faruwa sakamakon rikicin tattalin arzikin duniya ne baki daya wannan malami ya ce sun fara samun taimakon abincin a unguwar su eh gaskiya ne kamar nan yankin mu na yankin Ikoyo Obalin da zan iya cewa an fara amma to amma dai ba wai sai kana da wani shaida na cewa kai dan jambiyan kaza ko jambiyan kaza bane to sai dai don a yanzu wasu sun nuna fargabar su game da yiwuwar samun talafin kai tsaye I know I feel totally I know she need to I know I know about that itself ban ji dadi ba saboda ban ga komai ba a yanzu ban san komai game da hakan ba wannan yunkuri na gwamnatin sa ba shine mafi dacewa ba ya kamata ya sa farashin kayayyaki ya rago fasi for it right kate ijesha and if i see that kind of for here that are here say from lagos island or shodi naji labari amma ban gan shi ba ita da ikati ita ita sha to amma naji cewa yan kuna kamar lagos island da ushodi da sauran sun fara samun talabin gwamnati i think uh, sharing food is not the problem because people eat today tomorrow we they eat again ina tsammanin rabon abinci ba shine matsala ba idan mutane suka ci abinci a yau to me za su sake samu akwai wasu abubuwa masu muhimmanci da ake bukatar gwamnati da government to do ya kamata gwamnati ya kwafa sa bi haƙƙin da suke a yanzu haka gwamnati jihar ta ce sauran cibakar za a rarraba ta ta hannun shugabanni bisa la'akari cewa su ne suke kusa da jama'a sai dai wasu sun ce akwai abin dubawa dama dai kamar makonnin shida da suka gabata gwamnati jihar ya bullo da wasu tsare tsare don rage radadin wahalun da ake ciki wadanda suka hada da rage kudin hawo motocin bus mallakar gwamnati jihar da kashi 50 wanda daga besani aka medo shi da kashi 25 akwai kuma kafa kasuwanni da zasu ke ci a ranar lahadi da zasu zo da saukin farashin abinci 
inda ko wani magidar shi aka amince ya sayi abinci da sauran kai masu rufi da bai dara ne raduwa shi da biyar ba rahotanni sun nuna al'umman Najeriya sun shaida matsatsin rayuwa kamar yadda suke cewa mafi muni don bayar da shugaban kasa ce Bola Ahmad Tinubu ya sanar da janyi talifin man Peter da kuma sakamakon haka farashin kayaki yayi sama a wurin yanayi da mutanen kasar ke kokawa cewa akwai karancin kudi a hannunsu gwamnatin jihar ta ce babban burin ta a yanzu shine abinci kare zama wata matsala da za ta kange mazauna jihar jin dadin rayuwar su ta yau da kullum Umar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria Sakataren harkokin waje Amurka dake ziyara a China yayi kira ga Beijing akan ta samu da wani yanayi na yadda Amurka za ta gudanar da kasuwancin ta kasar ba tare da wata matsala ba Antony Blinken ya isa babban burbin China a ranar ta biyu da fara ziyarar ta sa ayin da kasashe biyu ke kokarin dinkin barakar dake tsakanin su tunda farko Mr Blinken ya je Shanghai inda ya shedawa wani babban jami'i a birnin cewa Amurka na san kasashen su yi gogayya amma ba ta hamayya ba karotan burki su baban gida Mr Blinken ya nuna damuwar sa game da wasu manufofi da dabi'ar kasuwancin kasar China Beijing dai ta musanta girarin Amurka cewa sarrafa kayakin masana'antun China fiye da yadda ake bukata na matakar cin kushe kasuwannin duniya a wani taron mane mai labarai mai magana da yan ma'aikata kana tana sa ranganin Amurka ta aikata irin hakan tun fa yi kwa an da shi tang yuan za kai da jima ko zo yace China a ko da yushi na bin tsarin hadin kan kasuwanci a bisa tana din dokar kasuwa kana a ko da yushi tana matukar goyen bayan tsarin kasuwancin kasashe da dama kana tana cikakken aiwatar da dokokin kungiyar cikin kayya ta duniya WTO muna fatan cewa Amurka za ta mutun ta ka'idojin yin adalci a gogayyar kasuwanci tare da bin dokokin kungiyar ta WTO da kuma yin aiki da China wajen samar da yanayi mai kyau ga bin kasar China da Amurka mai dorewa da kuma dangantakar kasuwanci jiyan kang bin din fata kang zao yu li tiao jie haka shi ma saka ta yang harukwa kimo jang Amurka Antony Blinken yae magana a birnin Shanghai kang bukata da gida akwai nae mu amala kai sayi yana bi siwa dola si China da Amurka sin shao kang matalar bomba cha bomba cha ndiki sakhanan su taare Shugabanjim Air Communist na Birnin Shanghai Chen Jianin ya bayyana yadda yake kallon dangantakar kasashen biyu a matsayin mafi muhimmanci a duniya. Yace na san da cewa wannan shekarar ce ta cika 45 da kullu dangantakar diplomasiya tsakanin China da Amurka wadanda sune dangantakar kasashen biyu mafi muhimmanci a duniya. Tun bayan kullu hudar diplomasiyar dangantakar a kode yaushe mai rauni ce a kode yaushe akwai rudani da kace na ce amma daukacin ta ta ƙara samun ci gaba a tarihin ce gaba nan zazzafar tattaunawa da manyan jami'ai akan batutuwa kamar su Russia da kasar Taiwan da dake cin kasuwanci kasar China ba ta sarar da yadda aka tsara ganawar Mr Blinken da shugaba Xi Jinping ba amma lokacin wacan ziyarar ta sa zuwa China irin wannan ganawar ana tsara ta ne cikin muntoci kadan kafin fara ta a gida Bilkisu baban gida da rahotanta to ma sauraro bari mu ji kanin labarai tare da Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad kotun gwallan amurka za ta saurari ba hasi kan ko tsohon shugaban kasar wato Donald Trump na da kariya daga tuhumar da ake masa kan abubuwan da ya aikata a lokacin da yake kan karagar mulki a rantsar da sabuwar majalisar rikunkwariya ta za ta karbi mulki a Haiti tare da shirye zabe shugaban Faransa Emmanuel Macron ya gargadin cewa tarayyar Turai na fuskantar hadari a cikin shekaru 10 masu zuwa a daidai lokacin da ake fama da tashi tashi hankula a duniya kungiyar kare haƙƙin bil adama ta Human Rights Watch ta ce sama da fararen guda 220 ne sojoji suka kashe a rana guda a wannan shekarar a Burkina Faso Lithuania ta yi watsi da kiradin da jami'an tsaron Belarus suka yi cewa sun dake ne har haran jirage mara matuka daga kasar a gida Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad Masaro idan ka lika shafin mu na BBC Hausa.com akwai labaran da muka wallafa muku daga cikin labaran akwai labarin cewa jami'oyin Amurka na fama da zanga zangar goyen bayan Palestinawa akwai bidiyon daga bakin mai ita tare da Muhibbat Abdusalam da shi ma muka wallafa a wannan shafin 
a shafin mu da kai tsaye kwa lawan da ke kai shine farashin litan man fetir ya kai naira 750 a Abuja da dai sauran labarai duka a wannan shafin har ma da hotuna da bidiyo yi duka a cikin wannan shafi da ma sauran shafi kamar da sa da zamanta duka akwai labarai da hotuna da bidiyo da muke wallafa mu ku tabbatar za ku shiga da bibiyan mu to duka duka ƙarshen shirin kenan wanda Khalifa Shehu doka ji ya shirya Fatou Muhammad ya hada mana sauti ni Aisha Sharif Babanake cewa mu ne lafiya daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC